Good morning. Welcome to Pastor John's Fireside Chat. It is Thursday, June 23rd. I hope that you're doing well. I'd like to share with you a reading from John's Gospel. The context is Jesus is in the upper room on Monday, Thursday, and he's giving his disciples some parting words of wisdom. And this is what he writes in chapter 13, verses 34 and 35. A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, all men will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. You know, in the, the Greek New Testament, there are three common words for love. One is eros, from which we get our word erotic. It's a, a physical, sensual love. There's philos, which is a brotherly love. Hence, we have the city called Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. And then there's the third type of love, which is the highest type of love, and that's agape love. It is an unconditional love. As Jesus is getting ready to die for the sins of the world, he tells his followers that he has loved them, agape them, and because of that, they now have the privilege of sharing that love with one another. And he even says, this is how you're going to be marked as my followers. All men will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Love is the hallmark of the Christian life. It is that distinguishing sign that lets other people know that we have a God who loves us, that we have a God who died for us and rose again so that we now can not only receive his love, but freely share it. And it's an unconditional love. Jesus doesn't say, I love the people who just love you, or love the people if they're worthy, or love the people if they measure up to your standards. He just says love even as he loves us. And Paul reminds us that while we were still enemies, Christ died for us. That's an unconditional love that we receive from God and we get to share with others. This coming Friday, 44 people from Epiphany are gonna be heading to Tampa Bay for a mission project. And they're gonna have the opportunity to love others in Jesus' name, with the love that God has given them in their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And as they love, they will testify to the truth that they belong to God, not because of what they've done, but because of what God has done for them. I invite you to join me in prayer uh, for those 44 people who will be heading to Tampa Bay as basically missionaries, evangelists, sharing the love of Jesus Christ in word and deed. But also remember, they're not the only missionaries here at Epiphany. So are you, and so am I. For we have been loved by God, and now we are invited to join God in his work of sharing the love of Jesus wherever we go. Have a great day in the Lord.